So I want to track packages. Ideally, we have, I mean, we ship a bunch of stuff out. We want to be able to throw a, t a tracking number in the ticket, and we want the ticket to go on hold pending the arrival of the hardware. And then instead of waiting for them to tell us it arrived, we want UPS, the carrier we use, to tell us that it arrived and reopen the ticket automatically or take it off hold automatically. So uh, Roost does not have a UPS integration. I built a workflow that does OAuth flow into it. Um, everything that you're going to see is test client IDs and secrets. If you do see one, don't freak out. <laughs> I'm just testing, and I'll be removing it afterwards. Uh, but basically, it's a I threw in all my parameters in the sub workflow, and then um, I run a web query, generic web query against the API to track the package, and then I do a bunch of fancy Jinja to say like whether or not it arrived, whether the package doesn't exist, and then where it did arrive, if it did arrive, and then everything else goes here. I haven't really done anything with it yet. The goal is to, when it hits here, go back to the ticket and say, hey, package was delivered. It was signed for X, Y, Z, blah, 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 so on and so forth. Um, and just for this demo purposes, I threw up a quick form. We throw a tracking number in here, and we hit submit. And then we will see that it will run. And that there's no way that's a tracking number, right? So if we look at the last one, notice we got shipment not found. But if we throw a real tracking number in, so if I go back, and this one is a real tracking number, I'll just grab it and throw it in again and hit submit. Then what we'll see is if we go to the latest run, it failed. I'm guessing I have a Jinja failure. Oh, what's the error message? Unable to evaluate. OK, I tried getting fancy. Look at the action before it. You might have the. No, oh, I didn't have. Hmm. I, I know what I did, because it's trying to evaluate warnings that doesn't exist. Um, here, box warnings for box. It doesn't exist. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna shortcut it right now, <laughs> so you can see what happens. Uh, but basically, if we rerun that, it'll authenticate, and it'll show delivered, because it it is delivered. And if we expand the state context, the last one, it'll show the delivery location is Lake Placid, Florida. So, uh, yeah, that's the tracking nice. thing. Uh, that'll go into the ticket. We can get like the, who signed for it or where it was left uh, dumped into the ticket. Um, and we can take the ticket off hold automatically. So that was fun. Um, I can show you the actual sub workflow. Uh, it's pretty basic OAuth. It took forever to figure out because UPS documentation sucks, but it's literally just one line. It's the uh, HTTP, and we just throw all the variables in here. Uh, doing regular standard OAuth, and then we feed back. This is where it gets fun. We feed back all of the. Well, the idea was to make this a generic OAuth <laughs> workflow. It did not work out that way yet, uh, but we will get there. Um, and then it spits out the authentication results, so we can take the access token and reuse it in a the main parent workflow.